Running cars at the Nordschleife in Germany isn't new for auto manufacturers. Now Cadillac has brought their test mule ATS to the party with a twist. I'm Michelle Rahal with the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com. If you like what we bring you, then please favorite us or subscribe. According to the Cadillac team testing the new ATS in Germany, they view the track differently than some. They aren't out to set speed records, but rather use the track as a true test bed. According to them, it has it all, but why don't we let them tell you? If you're an auto enthusiast, I mean, this is like the mecca. You think about the heritage and the history as you're lapping around the track, it's just nirvana. You can explain to people what it's like, but until they come and do it, they can't really get an understanding because you can go back there and be all excited and blah, blah, blah. And they, and they still, when they come here, they just go, you told us it was great, but we didn't realize it was going to be this great, you know? And that's just what's really special about the place. The car is taking shape very well. It's running good lap times, and we're ready to go out and go even faster. There's no other facility in the world like this. You can accomplish more in one lap around the ring than you can running probably a dozen tracks in the US. There's places you go airborne around the track. There's full compression loading, you know, as you come through a valley. You have off camper and on camper and, you know, compression loading in the corner and through the carousel. You can't experience all those things in any one facility anywhere in the world except here. Coming up to Hatzenbach, where this is a real rhythm section. Right, left, right, left, right. Hit your marks, use the curbing if you need to. Our MR shocks will gobble it right up. Coming up to fluke plots. Car gets airborne, immediately you tap the brake for a 100 mile an hour right hander. Really demanding on all attributes of the chassis. Obviously, the Nurburgring ring wants to use all of your brakes and all your ends and all your tires. This is the section that really chews up the tires. Here we come up to the carousel, wide open throttle, then stand on the brakes, let the car slide and jump right into the carousel. And it shoots you straight back out, like being shot out of a gun. You're pulling approximately one and a half Gs because of the banking. Now we come up to Hoak, the highest portion of the track. Try to carry a lot of speed through this next section. Uh, just light taps of the brake, trying to stay in third gear and maximize the cornering speed. Time for another carousel. The car drops in pretty abruptly, really trying to focus on the steering feel. Onto the back straightaway. We primarily use the straightaway for chassis tuning. The car is precise and not meandering. Another hard braking section, the tight ending of the track here, and that's it. 2809? 2814. Yeah, that's all right. Well, it's been a, a long two weeks. We've uh, put in a lot of long days. We've made great progress with our steering, our brakes, our suspension. Uh, we've put down a, a great lap time, and uh, we're about ready to wrap things up. Being here is just a tremendous experience um, and a privilege, just a tremendous honor. We hope you enjoyed it, and for the Drive Channel and thedrivechannel.com, we hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy Hanukkah. We'll see you next time.